Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com, where we explore the latest trends and innovations in clean energy. In today's video, we're diving into an increasingly important topic in the global energy landscape, importing green hydrogen. As the world shifts towards more sustainable energy solutions, green hydrogen is emerging as a key player, especially in sectors that are challenging to decarbonize, such as heavy industry, shipping, and aviation. But what does it really mean to import green hydrogen, and why is it so significant? First, let's start with the basics. Green hydrogen is produced by using renewable energy sources like wind, solar, or hydropower to split water into hydrogen and oxygen through a process called electrolysis. This type of hydrogen is considered green because its production involves no carbon emissions, making it a clean fuel that can help significantly reduce our carbon footprint. As nations worldwide set ambitious goals to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, green hydrogen is becoming an essential component of the energy mix. However, not all countries have the same capacity to produce green hydrogen domestically. This disparity is where the concept of importing green hydrogen becomes crucial. Importing green hydrogen allows countries with limited renewable energy resources or geographic constraints to access this clean fuel, helping them meet their climate targets without relying solely on local production. The idea of importing green hydrogen mirrors the current global trade in fossil fuels. Just as oil, natural gas, and coal are transported across borders to meet energy demands, green hydrogen could soon be traded on a similar scale. Countries with abundant renewable resources, such as those in regions with high solar or wind potential, could produce green hydrogen at scale and export it to countries where local production is less feasible. This emerging market could help balance global energy needs while driving the adoption of cleaner fuels. Importing green hydrogen plays a pivotal role in the global energy transition. As countries work towards decarbonizing their economies, green hydrogen offers a versatile solution for sectors that are difficult to electrify. For instance, heavy industries like steel and cement manufacturing, which require high temperature processes, can use green hydrogen as a carbon-neutral fuel. Similarly, in the transportation sector, green hydrogen can power fuel cell vehicles, ships, and even airplanes, providing a sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. By importing green hydrogen, countries can diversify their energy sources, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and enhancing energy security. This diversification is particularly important for countries that currently depend heavily on imported oil and gas. Transitioning to green hydrogen imports allows these nations to align their energy supply with their climate goals, moving away from carbon-intensive fuels. For exporting countries, the rise of green hydrogen represents a significant economic opportunity. Nations with abundant renewable energy resources can develop green hydrogen production as a major industry, creating jobs, stimulating economic growth, and establishing themselves as leaders in the global clean energy market. Countries like Australia, Saudi Arabia, and Chile are already investing heavily in green hydrogen production with the aim of becoming key exporters in the emerging global hydrogen economy. However, importing green hydrogen is not without its challenges. One of the most significant hurdles is the logistics of transporting hydrogen. Hydrogen is a low-density gas, making it expensive to transport in its gaseous form over long distances. To address this, hydrogen can be liquefied at extremely low temperatures, but this process is energy-intensive and adds to the overall cost. Alternatively, hydrogen can be converted into ammonia or other hydrogen carriers, which are easier to transport, and then converted back to hydrogen at the destination. Each of these methods involves trade-offs between cost, efficiency, and infrastructure requirements. The infrastructure needed to store, transport, and distribute hydrogen also requires significant investment. Currently, most of the world's energy infrastructure is designed for fossil fuels. Developing the infrastructure for hydrogen, including pipelines, storage facilities, and refueling stations, is essential for supporting large-scale hydrogen imports. In addition, retrofitting existing natural gas pipelines to carry hydrogen blends or pure hydrogen could be a cost-effective way to expand the hydrogen network. 
Another challenge is ensuring that the imported hydrogen is genuinely green. The carbon footprint of hydrogen can vary significantly depending on how it's produced. Green hydrogen is made using renewable energy, but gray hydrogen is produced from natural gas with significant carbon emissions, and blue hydrogen is derived from natural gas but with carbon capture and storage. Importing green hydrogen means establishing clear standards and certification processes to ensure that the hydrogen being traded is truly produced from renewable sources. The economic implications of importing green hydrogen are profound. For importing countries, building industries around hydrogen distribution and utilization could stimulate innovation, create jobs, and drive economic growth. The development of hydrogen infrastructure, including pipelines, storage facilities, and refueling stations, presents opportunities for investment and job creation. For exporting countries, green hydrogen could become a significant revenue stream, similar to how oil and gas have fueled economic growth for many nations. By positioning themselves as leaders in the green hydrogen market, these countries can capitalize on the global shift toward cleaner energy. Additionally, countries that invest early in green hydrogen production could secure long-term trade relationships and influence global energy markets. Strategically, green hydrogen imports allow countries to reduce their dependence on volatile fossil fuel markets. As the prices of oil and gas fluctuate due to geopolitical tensions or market dynamics, green hydrogen offers a more stable and sustainable alternative. By diversifying their energy imports, countries can enhance their energy security and reduce their vulnerability to external shocks. While importing green hydrogen offers many benefits, it's essential to consider the environmental and social impacts. Producing green hydrogen requires large amounts of renewable energy, which means significant land use for solar farms, wind turbines, or hydropower plants. This land use must be managed responsibly to avoid negative impacts on local ecosystems and communities. In exporting countries, the development of green hydrogen infrastructure can have both positive and negative social impacts. On the one hand, it can create jobs and stimulate economic development, particularly in rural areas with abundant renewable resources. On the other hand, it could lead to conflicts over land use, water resources, and the distribution of economic benefits. Ensuring that the development of green hydrogen is inclusive and sustainable is crucial to its long-term success. In conclusion, importing green hydrogen is a complex but promising pathway in the global transition to clean energy. It offers significant benefits, such as enhancing energy security, reducing carbon emissions, and fostering economic growth. However, it also requires careful planning, investment in infrastructure, and international cooperation to overcome the challenges associated with transportation and regulation. If you're interested in learning more about green hydrogen and other sustainable energy solutions, visit reneenergy.com. We offer a range of resources and courses to help you stay informed and ahead in the rapidly evolving clean energy sector. Whether you're an energy professional, a policymaker, or simply passionate about sustainability, our platform provides the insights you need to navigate the future of energy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on clean energy trends and innovations. Visit ReneEnergy.com to start your journey towards a sustainable energy future today. Thanks for tuning into the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.